Hi, it's Wendy, creator of My Daily Shift, Recovering Perfectionist, and Authenticity Advocate. I'm always looking for things that change the way I see the world, and today I've got a true story that did that for me. It's about my sister. Uh, she and her daughter, Madison, were going into Vaughn's after a busy day, uh, needing some things for dinner. Now, dinner's already late, they've got, they're just running in. So they run past a woman standing outside of Vaughn's. And the way Christy tells it, you know, the woman's kind of hunched over and not making eye contact and not really begging, but clearly in need. And as she's going through the door, she notices the gentleman behind her stops, asks the woman if she's okay, asks her if she's hungry, and then invites her in to Vaughn's to go grocery shopping. And Christy's going, Ugh, you know, a little deflated, like, man, I didn't stop. I should have stopped. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. And as luck would have it, every time Christy and Madison go down an aisle, they are going the other way. And she witnesses this man um, asking this woman if she needs any toiletries, if we can get her some stuff that'll maybe last a couple of days, and really showing her compassion and generosity. And Christy notices that every time they pass them, the woman is standing up straighter and straighter and holding her head up higher. And how inspired um, she was by this man and his generosity and how it just really changed this woman's world. And at the end, they're checking out. And again, Christy and Madison are right behind them. And, you know, the bill was like $15 and maybe took 10 minutes. And Christy's thinking to herself, you know, I have $15. I have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That should have been me. I should have done that. Uh, and she's thinking she should have been a better example for Madison. And, you know, really just kind of like ugh, beating herself up. And in and, and so much admiration for this, this man who who did this for this woman. And as Christy's talking to me, that's really where, when I shifted. And I think it's amazing that this man shared himself with this woman this way. And what a great thing. What a great example of how much good there is in the world. But where I shifted was in recognizing that the grace and the real gift for me was in Christy not doing it right was in Christy the, the imperfection of not doing it right and witnessing it and wanting to be more next time. And how that impacted Madison and how that impacted me and how in my sharing it, I'm hoping it impacts you. Um, you know, if Christy would have been that person that stopped, it would have been amazing, and my sister certainly is an amazing person that's generous and very capable of such actions, but I don't think she would have told me about it, and I don't think I would have had the opportunity to notice the grace in the imperfection, and I don't think I would have been as inspired, um, and that's where I really shifted, that there is grace in the imperfection, and there's always a chance to recognize the good. We just have to be open to seeing it. And so I have, that's my offering to you, is look for the good and be really kind to yourself in the moments when you see it and you didn't quite step through that time. And in the next 24 hours, be the one who sees it and does something about it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be looking for it. I'm going to make it happen in the next 24 hours. And I challenge you to, and if just one of you does something, I will be so grateful. But imagine if a hundred do something. How amazing would that be? Uh, if you feel so called, share it on my website. I'd love to see some momentum and some stories that come out of this. Uh, either way, look for the good, find the grace, and have a beautiful day.